Jill Belland is hanging out this morning. And Jill, I know you're going to take a look at the different incarnations of traveling light. You know I like it as it is, though. Yes, we are going to look at those incarnations, Tara, in the next segment. And that, of course, was worked on right here at Heavy Industries and other projects that you would recognize from all over the city and the province and Canada, in fact, uh, is made here locally. So I'm being joined by Bennett here this morning. We're talking about an upcoming project here so we can sort of see the skeleton. So, Bennett, tell me what you guys are working on right now. So this is a project for roadside signage for the Crow's Nest Pass. Yeah. And these are large monolithic pieces that right now they don't really look like too much. But we will be cladding these uh, in a concrete product called Shotcrete. And it's a lot like stucco. It, um, it's applied to the side of um, something like this that has the screen on it. And it'll stick to that. And then we can sculpt it later, um, either using trowels or something like these, which are stamps here. Okay. So these are, these are silicone casts yeah. of rocks that we've picked out and then you can literally press these into the shot creep product and then produce a, a, a finish similar to what you see to your side here so this is a stamped product that uh, we've made molds of and this is nice. concrete but it looks like natural rock and stuff like that so we can kind of work around any shape and use these stamps to produce something that looks natural but we control the shape of it okay and it will end up looking like what you have in your hand right yeah, there so this is what i have here it's uh kind of the the rendering of the finished product will be incorporating some steel pieces that are painted to kind of add to a more kind of like a conceptual overview of the mountains and then right. we have some aluminum signage in front and it also incorporates a lot of lighting and stuff like that okay. and then in here is where we have the natural rocks so it's you can kind of get some contrast there with the uh, kind of conceptual mountains there cool so you're gonna see this in the crow's nest pass there will be a couple of them when this is all said and done how heavy will this piece be uh, these will weigh probably about as much as three pickup trucks per section wow. so we'll be turning this whole stack of concrete over here yep. into some pretty pretty neat roadside attractions <laughs> so that's your arts and craft project for the day yeah for the next few weeks for the next few weeks yeah we expect to have this all uh installed hopefully by the end of the first week of january and uh pretty short deadline but i think it's definitely achievable you know we have a lot to a lot going on in such a short space we've had welding come in and do their thing and then now we apply the concrete product and then we'll also have some staining and some artists working on the rock to make it look more realistic yeah interesting to see how everything comes together here uh, with engineering uh, with arts of course with the sculptors with the trades you guys bring this all together to make really interesting projects we are going to show you those incarnations of the traveling light tara <laughs> your favorite in the next segment so do stay tuned yes you know i have a very strange and special kinship with that piece of public art i just don't know why